it's really funny how uh, whenever you're, you have a major, um, you tend to only go to classes in that major's building, like the communications building or the science building. What I try to do throughout the day is use the restroom and water fountains in different buildings. So right now I'm in the science building. And you'll find that uh, they have different levels of uh, cleanliness, um, how packed they are, the different equipment. Look at that, that's kind of neat, huh? You wouldn't see that in the art building. So one of the funny things is in the art building, um, look at this. Do not store soda or food in this machine. It's lab equipment. So cool. Yeah, so, you know, if you go to school, like, make sure to visit the other buildings because it's a lot different depending on, look at this. Look at all that lab stuff. So neat. And look at here. There's like lab equipment. Totally cool. But the funny thing is, is people tend to, in my experience, people tend to think that all the other department buildings are like theirs. I pointed out something funny in the art building bathroom to one of my friends from my art class, and uh, he said, oh yeah, that, that's, they have that in every bathroom. No, they don't. Only in the art building bathrooms. So that's really funny. And I'll show you that this one is getting this when nobody's in here. Now read this sign. It says, lording in and about any toilet open to the public for the purpose of engaging in or soliciting any lewd or lascivious behavior is a misdemeanor under California Penal Code. Violators are subject to arrest and prosecution. Okay, you're going to have a sign like that. Then you're going to have like a jungle gym in the toilet. Really? It's like an invitation to engage in lewd and lascivious behavior. Only in the art department, though. <laughs> All right, more later. All right. Pretty good day at school. Uh, I realized after I started shooting the bathrooms that it would be problematic <clears throat> during the day because people are in the bathrooms. So uh, I lucked out and got the science department and uh, art department today. That was funny, wasn't it? The jungle gym and the toilet stall and then that warning now then I'll get the uh, bathrooms in the um, communications building which are pretty plain two urinals two stalls but but the bathrooms in the Clark Hall or whatever it is where there's different types of classes it's insane I mean the place is so big there are like seven stalls and ten urinals and, and, and enough room in between the sinks and the urinals to play a basketball game. I have no idea why those bathrooms are so big. Um, it's really weird. And then another thing about the water fountains, I wanted to point out, um, maybe I'll take you guys on a tour of the, all the different water fountains, because some of them are just piss poor. It's just a tiny bubbling. Other ones, like, shoot a foot up in the air. Also, there are differences in temperature. Some of them are cold, some of them are not. And some of them are heavy with particulates. Um, the communication building in particular has crappy water fountains. I fill up my little water bottle and uh, I can't even see through it. It's like that fuzzy. Um, that might be aeration, I'm not sure. Alright, that was fun. One more clip. Uh, to finish off today. Coming up next, what's it going to be? I don't know. Another late vlog, folks. Just wrapping it up. I just finished my uh, four-page paper that I've been putting off, which is due at midnight tonight. <laughs> it was due at noon today, but my teacher's nice. So I'm going to sit here and eat this delicious Chinese food that Alicia ordered. Where'd you get it from, honey? Best taste. Best taste. Yum. All right, guys. See you tomorrow, Thursday. More bathrooms soon.